All right, welcome back, everybody. Anybody that's new here, thanks for joining me today. Uh, this is going to be done based on a request by a few of you guys. Um, the biggest thing here was this spring I did what I do almost every spring, and that's I go fishing for big slab crappie with jerk baits because it's one of my favorite tools. Um, it's fun when you get them to bite the jerk bait. Uh, jerk jerk bait um <laughs> so hopefully today's video i'm gonna make this a real quick one because this is basically just a simple thing and you guys are gonna like smack your heads and think crazy thoughts about it when i do explain this to you because <clears throat> realistically in the springtime crappie are just coming off of ice so this is if you're in the ice belt if you're further south i'm just gonna guess that like probably all winter long now that I think about it, if I go down to like Arkansas in the middle of like December, I could probably get into some slabs doing the same exact thing. I'm going to have to give that a try. Comment below if you guys want to see me go down south and stick some like three and four and five pound crappie uh, pre-spawn in the middle of winter, maybe December, January sometime. I would love to do that. So comment below if you guys want me to go do that sometime. Uh, but till then, I'm going to show you guys... Uh, so what I normally use is, so I have my two Apex rods here. I have a, a Apex Elite and then my standard Apex behind it. Uh, the Elite is an ultralight. The Apex behind it is a light. So standard Apex and then Apex Elite. Uh, I use the light action um, because it's actually just a little bit stiffer. Uh, and it seems to work. I mean, I'm sure they both work, but uh, it seems to work really good for a specific kind of jerkbait. I will link it below so you guys can use the same thing when you guys finally watch the rest of this video. If you guys want to duplicate what I'm doing, I'm going to put a little clip in and a little bit here. Um, I'll try to find one that kind of shows it really good, but I have an idea on how I can describe and demonstrate this to you guys here in my little bluegill cave. So stay tuned. Okay, so I'm going to try to do this using that... I'll try to use that door as like a backdrop here. And then, uh, so I have a couple different things here. I think this should be, this should be good enough. I mean, let's see if you can, all right. You sh you can see that against the door pretty good. So if I'm sitting like out of screen, I want to make sure you guys can see that. Okay. So, and actually I could probably do it facing you guys. So this is going to be my, my rod mimic. So when you are reeling these in, realistically, you should be able to keep your rod tip pointed down about 20 degrees like that and be able to just kind of reel it in and get it down to the depth you want to. Um, if you're fishing dirty water or something like that, you got to get below stuff. You got to jerk it a couple times. But realistically, you should be able to reel it at this angle, get it down to the level you want it at. And this is where the sight fishing glasses come in handy. Um, realistically you can use a cheap pair i will link what i've been using this year below because they work really good uh they probably my best sunglasses i've ever invested any money into and it makes me very happy so hopefully if you guys can afford it they're not cheap but they will work um so you get your you get your bait down to the running depth you want it to right so what you're going to do here is i like to hold the rod with my fingertip at the top on the side of it and what I'm doing is I'm not I'm not jerking it like you're uh, like if you're bass fishing you'll you'll put huge snaps into it. That little jerk bait, this little guy right here, only needs to have a twitch, a twitch, and a pause. And the key here is you need to pause because you need to find out what the crappie want. Sometimes, like this this spring, it was a twitch, 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 and then just sit there and just wait and wait and wait, and then I'd get a bite. And then obviously you set the hook on. Um, some of the times it was as simple as this one. So it was twitch, twitch, and then just slowly reeling up the slack, straightening out the lure, and then slowly like having the lure just kind of go through the water column. So those were the two main ones that I was doing this season. But the biggest one that works the best, and it works in the fall, 
summer, and spring. This works all year. All open water is you take and go twitch. So like a good good twitch, but right away. So twitch, twitch. So what you're trying to do, and now that I've showed you with the rod, is it will make it easier for me when you're seeing this. So that, that twitch, twitch, pause. The twitch does this to it. So the lure's facing you guys. It goes twitch, twitch. And I have to start here. So it's going to go twitch. So quick, quick twitch starts here. The next follow-up twitch, if you do them quick enough, is it goes here, and it goes really far this way, and it stops. So imagine being a fish following this, and you see it dart that way, and you kind of see the fish go that way, and then it twitches really fast this way. What does that look like to you guys? I'm a fish brain nut, so what it looks like to me is my food is trying to get away. I need to eat it. It's that simple. So... And then if you go here and you don't twitch it again and it just kind of floating here in the water now it kind of looks like it was a minnow that was injured used its last little bit of energy to get away and now it's dying so it's easy food that is your number one tip for working this small little jerk bait uh when it warms up a little bit more if they're if they're chasing obviously you could do the twitch twitch pause, twitch, twitch, pause, and you could do that like repeatedly, uh, kind of like a big jerk bait would be for anything else like walleye and bass. Um, you could do a twitch, reel, twitch, twitch, pause, twitch, reel, twitch, twitch, pause, when they are chasing. But we're talking about cold water right now. Okay, so hopefully most of that makes sense to you guys. Uh, the hardest thing is if you can't see it, you won't know if you're doing it right. Uh, so dirty water, these still work in dirty water. It's got a rattle. So when you're twitching it like that, it's making noise. Uh, it's not really loud, loud noise, but it's what you want in the beginning of the season and at the end of the season. Uh, realistically, at the end of the season, you could probably go with a bigger jerk bait. But in the beginning of the year, this is probably going to be the right size for you. Um, I'm going to throw in a little clip. Hopefully I have the right clip. I'm just trying to think of one that there's, I think I have one where I twitched it and I was, I was watching them and literally I was just sitting there with the rod in my hand waiting for them because I seen the fish coming in and it was right after I did the twitch twitch and it was just sitting there and I was watching this sideways while he came up and that crappie up feed. So he was coming up, coming up, coming up, coming up. And then I saw the white and I set the hook on them because when you see the white, that usually means the bait got sucked into their mouth. <laughs> so that's what you are looking for. So hopefully this clip kind of explains it. There's a good one. Let's see if I can swing this guy. That is exactly what I'm looking for. <laughs> Munched it. All right, guys. So hopefully that kind of walkthrough of it was the best version of it and that that clip really just kind of drives home like just sit there and wait it's so many people overwork their baits especially when the water's cold um and when you overwork your bait one the fish sometimes will just stare at it but two if you overwork it and they're skittish they will literally you'll jerk 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 and they'll be like ah i'm out of here <laughs> and then they're gone and you're never going to catch that fish now uh, so patience and timing and then a really good pair of sight fishing glasses whenever uh, the water or whenever the fish are shallow uh, which are you it's usually all the way till the end of may sometimes into the beginning of june that you'll have fish super shallow so if you guys are seeing this 
You can go down in the description, like I said. Uh, the baits are fairly cheap, but my glasses that I used this year that worked really, really good um, are actually not cheap at all. So if you don't have the money, don't try to like finance the glasses or spend money you don't have because they are not cheap. They're not cheap. Uh, but they are an investment, and this is kind of what I do. So <laughs> it's basically an investment for my business. And it's an excuse to buy something that I can see. <laughs> so... Hopefully the today's video, like I said, uh, kind of taught you guys something. I've been trying to figure out a way to do this. And then this, I, I forgot I have, uh, like it's a half a rod <laughs> laying here. I actually have two halves of rods sitting there. I was going to turn them into ice rods, something long story short. I just realized that I could do that, uh, thing in here. And then I could just show you those clips and hopefully that kind of puts it all together for you. Otherwise, like I said before, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Obviously, if you're not new here, you know what's up. But if you are new, could you please just remember to...